Hey girl, hey, it's Taste Pink and I'm sharing my favorite tips to create a custom crochet wig and I'm going to be using the Harlem 125 Easy Twin Braid to create two gorgeous looks. You definitely have to keep on watching. Of course, I'm going to use a canvas block head and the crochet wig cap with the lace parting. You guys asked for this, so I'm doing it. Make sure you secure your wig cap in place. I want you guys to be comfortable because we're about to get into this. You are going to need different styles of latch hooks, especially for the lace parting, just as a heads up. And I'm using the Easy Twin Braid, which has Toyoko Lawn Fibers. I love the color variation. It has tapered ends. It's perfect for this install. To get started, you wanna insert your latch hook at the base of the mesh cap. And then you're gonna insert your hair, close the latch hook and pull it in the reverse direction. You want to secure a knot twice. Pull on the length of the hair, press the knot and push upward towards the cap. I'm gonna show you guys again, just so it's locked into your head. Place those knots about one to one and a half finger widths apart at the back. Once you get to the next row, you can space them about two finger widths apart as you guys move towards the crown or towards the lace parting. You can definitely decrease the amount of space between the knots. This is what one bundle within one pack looks like. A little goes a long way with this look. I wanted to show you guys how I crochet the hair within the seam of the cap. I don't want you to think that you have to do anything specific. Crochet as normal. Go through one edge of the diamond shape, just like so. And I definitely like the latch hook that I used because it was comfortable because I crocheted a lot of hair. Don't insert your latch hook through more than one hole. We're just focusing on going through one diamond shape. As you near the parting space, you want to decrease the amount of space between each knot. Use that brick layering method so you don't run out of hair. Again, a little hair goes a long way, and that's why I like that they offer two bundles within one pack. It's very economically, you know, appealing. For the side of the wig cap, the diamond shapes are larger, so it's less work that you have to do. Don't think that you have to push your latch hook through more than one hole in this area. Again, space your knots about one to one and a half finger widths apart. And I only did two rows of the RT33V. I love this color. It's vibrant, but you don't need a lot of it to make a statement. And then for the next row, I just added the color RT30. And again, you just want to crochet as normal until you reach the seam. And it's super easy to get a very full look with this hair. And I just love the colors in this. Ooh, I picked those colors. As you guys can see, I did not put any of the larger knots close to the lace parting because I'm going to use my micro needle or my knit picker or my smaller latch hook to do the knotless method. Now some people may advise to use one strand of hair. I personally think you can fit a little bit more in there so you do a little less work in the end. Okay, so when you are creating your knotless parting, you can do about two to five knots to secure it in place. Because this is a smaller section of hair, you can afford to knot it twice or up to five times. This hair is very slick, it's straight, so it is a little bit tricky. Beginners may be discouraged, but you can do it because this is my first time. And make sure that you clip the hair away so you can begin training the hair in the direction that you want it to flow. A clip is so important. And you guys are going to see, this was my first time, I did fail. Full disclosure, it happens. It's a learning experience. You, I busted through the lace, okay? The knot didn't even go through. I don't know what happened. It ended up off the wig, you know? It happens. So be careful about the amount of hair that you put into the latch hook and take your time, go slow. You may have to finagle the latch hook. Again, be sure to push the hair in the direction that you want it to lay, add that clip and lay it in place. 
train the hair early so it can flow. Just to talk about this hair, I really love the texture of it, the feel of it, and the vibrancy of the colors. It's gorgeous. And make sure to cut off the excess lace. I don't know why that's there. I didn't see a need for it. Maybe you guys can tell me, but I just trimmed it away. And I went a step further to remove the combs on the left and right sides of the cap with a seam ripper. It just made this so much easier and a much better fit, especially if you wear the hair straight. Now put the wig on. Okay, I had a moment because this was giving me a lot of life. Went through and combed it. It does tangle in the areas that are like near the neck, the nape, which is common. But overall, this hair has a much better tangle situation. Get into this color because I did that, okay? I did that. Now I'm going to go through and detangle the hair. You want to make sure you do this with a wide tooth comb. Go from the knots to the very ends. Focus the heat from the blow dryer on to the roots at first because again we're training the hair to go in the direction that we want it to lay. And then just bring it on down the length of the hair. Yes, I'm using a comb attachment on the hair and I actually recommend it. When you blow dry the hair, it reduces the volume. So that's just a heads up. Now, I wanted to see if this could handle heat. This is again made with Toyokalon fibers. I only had the flat iron on 300 and it was not working, okay? I just wanted to show y'all everything. Now, I'm going in for a light trim on the ends because this hair is tapered. It's not much work that you have to do on the ends. And that makes any beginner feel great especially if you're not comfortable with trimming, but this is the look for the first one. The parting didn't show up as much as I liked, but to remedy that, I thought let's change the texture or let's give the hair some sort of curl pattern, some definition. So I did a few braids and I wanted to make sure they were very neat because that'll offer the best definition. And I put about 20 braids, heated up some water and you know do the hot water set while i do love the braid out once you apply heat to the hair it has the spearmint rubbing alcohol scent this is the best hot water setting on some braids that i have seen in a long time you can blend in your natural hairline with the rest of the hair but i just wanted to trim the ends again and i love this texture which look was your favorite i love this style i'm gonna hold on to this one okay but the parting space shows so much better after i hot water set the hair because the parting was laid at that point okay you could put some got to be glue and just let it it let it do its thing but which one which one do you like do you like the straight look or the braid out look let me know in the comments below be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up thank you so much toyo Kalan for collaborating with me and i hope i see you guys in the next one